Hey everybody, this is me, Trader Souls, so back in another video. This is how to remove the thermos around the strife. There are many of these videos on YouTube. The biggest one I've seen, or the most recommended. Um, camera quality is not great, and I couldn't actually tell what's happening. I can only learn this from, you know, like the text on the screen. And that was about it. So, let me just show you what I had done on this strife first. Basically, I removed the rubber door. I, I couldn't get the screw off, so I just cut it and then pulled it from the bottom because there's no screw on the bottom. And then, this one didn't have a lock on it. Some of them have the little lock here. I removed the lock. That does, that does not exist there anymore. So, that's what I did, basically. And I also removed the sling and then put it back on there. I don't know why, but I did. I don't even remember why I did that, so... Let me just show you that whatever I did here. Um, this is how you twist the thermistor. So basically, you you got this Omega looking thing. You can look it up like on the internet what it looks like originally. This is what it looks like when you twist it. The two silver wires are touching each other, and that's how you bypass it. Now I can't really show you how to do it because I already twisted it. If I twist it back again, it'll snap. But, basically all you do is you just do like a simple little twist and then it's done. So, but you have to, I would do it slowly and carefully. I don't like twist it all in one go. I just go very slowly. Pretend it's like you're twisting something very important, you know. I can, you can see that little yellow piece there cracked. Doesn't actually mean anything. If you look, you can still see the silver wire in there. So, it doesn't really matter. I mean, as long as the wires are touching each other, it's fine. If you twist it and the wires don't touch each other for some stupid reason, um, what I did is I just pressed the wires to each other. The wires are very kind of weak, like a paper clip, so you don't want to mess, you don't want to break it. So you got to be very careful. But all I did was just press them and squeeze them together with my fingers, and I got it to stay next to each other. I can't confirm that this works because I don't have any other alternative batteries. But, I mean... I mean, does that not look like it's not touching each other? And my camera is going crazy out of focus right now. It's so annoying. So that's that. I don't know how to clip it out, unfortunately. Mainly because the green wire goes to the switch, and I don't know where it even goes on the thermistor. It just kind of disappears. It looks like it's soldered under the thermistor board. Just kind of dumb but whatever so that's that i mean that little metal piece in here that goes to the batteries and that looks like it goes that looks like part of the thermistor wire right there if you look at that that looks like it just goes right through that little gap there and right into the thermistor section so i don't know how you would like remove that or bypass that specifically you could probably just connect that wire to probably like the green or the black wire, whatever wire it's supposed to connect to. And then, yeah, that's probably how you would do that. I can't say for sure. I've never done it before. I don't know how. So the reason why I just bypass it, it's just easier to just twist it. So that's how you do it. That's what it's supposed to look like. Like I said before, that's all you got to do. Just twist it, you know. But you remember, you just gotta go slow. You just gotta be like, you know, you go like this. Just slowly twist it piece by piece. If it starts to look like it's cracking, stop. I, I probably should have mentioned that earlier, but just just stop if it's happening. If it's if the, the wire looks like it's gonna break or the wire feels much weaker or if the thermos are, just stop, you know. Don't go any further if you're if, if you know you're experiencing any issues. Because the last thing you want to do is break the thermistor and you can't really fix it afterwards. You know. And that's that. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Just so I know that you actually watch this part to like the video. And subscribe for more of this. If you guys want to see me do something specific on the channel, let me know in the comments. Sometimes YouTube turns the comments off. I don't know why. 
I hate when they do that. I turn the settings off and then they turn them back on again. It's like they're playing a game with me. It's like all all it is is a tutorial and they're letting, literally just like shutting the comments off on purpose. Which is so annoying. I tried, I, ma I made a video on it before and they didn't really listen to me or care. So stupid. So, anyway. If the comments are not up at the moment, just check back again later. Um, on my other video, I did I did have a little like suggestion of games that I play or have like access to, and if you guys wanted to see it, you know, you reply to that comment saying what game you'd like to see. That is on my uh, one of my which video was it that I commented that? I don't really know. It's the uh. Which video was it? It says it says one step closer to the title, I believe. I believe that's the title. I don't remember the title very well, sorry. Yeah, the title is I think one step closer and in the comments of that video I have a comment of all the games that I have access to. So if you guys would like to see me play a game, um go to that video, go to the comments and reply. See the list of games that I have access to and reply. And maybe I'll start playing them. You know, so please do it.